Today we're going to talk about fall decorating and I'm going to take you on a tour of the fall decorations in my home. Hi, I'm Linda with Life on Summer Hill and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on future episodes. So today I'm going to walk you around my home and I'm going to give you some ideas on how you can decorate your home for fall, how to give it a cozy and warm feeling. So let's get started in my living room. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is um, greenery, greenery, foliage, fall foliage on your fireplace. Um, it's a great way to soften your fireplace and to give it those autumn colors. So I've added some fall foliage to my hanging basket and I'm simply just going to put my hanging basket back up here. Now, um, another thing I did is I started with some inspiration and this year I used four ribbons that came from Amazon. They came as a set. Put a link in the description below of all four, but as I walk around, I'll show you where those are, but it's a beautiful ribbon that has a frayed edge and it's really soft. So I just tied a little knot on this one and I tuck it into the basket here and that's it. I just gave it a little bit of, of design and character because in the spring, it didn't have any kind of ribbon. So next is my bunny rabbit, and um, I decided to keep him on the mantle, even though you think Easter, right, when you think of a bunny. But I added another one of the ribbons to him. To him. So this is another ribbon that was in the set, and then I put a pumpkin in his basket to make him fall. So I didn't even have to change really any of my decor up here. I just added a little something to each piece to change that. Now last, you might remember that I had um, an herb plant up there. If you're new here, I will link in the description my spring mantle idea. So I had an herb plant up there, but this time I found this, this vase at in the dollar spot. And I thought, this is really pretty. I like it. It's got a leather strap that kind of has a fall feeling. Um, and then I just took this hearth and hand amber glass flower arrangement that I can use somewhere else if I want to change things around. And I just sat him down inside of here and then put him on the books, um, on the mantle. So, so that's all I did as far as the top of the mantle. I didn't change the art. I didn't do anything else. So next is down on the hearth. Now my crock was already here. I keep my crock here. It, we put wood, we put lighter, um, lighters, cause our fireplace is a functioning fireplace. But the basket I thought was a nice touch because I could put some extra pillows and extra blankets here and just put it off to the side when we build a fire. And then I found these realistic pumpkins last year at TJ Maxx, and I'm definitely going to go back. I'm going to see if I can find some more this year, but they are so beautiful, and they're perfect each year to put out on my hearth or on my front um, porch. Next, I'm going to add these hearth and hand plaid pillows. They're the perfect touch to pull in my blue colors and autumn colors. And then on the other side of the couch, I'm going to add a bigger clay colored pillow to pull in those autumn colors. And then across the room, I'm going to repeat the pattern with the plaid, add it in front of my farmhouse pillow on one of my chairs, and then I've got repetition of design. Next is behind my sofa, and I wanted to show you a simple way to add fall colors without changing really anything on your sofa, and that is with a blanket. 
Just tuck your blanket over the back of your sofa to give it some warm fall autumn vibes. Next is our dining room and a simple and easy way to add fall into your dining room is to change your centerpiece. And then next are my bookcases. Bookcases are a great way to add a few little touches of fall. So on this first one, I added fall to my basket by taking a garland that I had from last year and tucking it into my basket. And then I used one of my printables in my Etsy shop of this vintage fall color landscape. And I added it to my clipboard I made. So. This is super easy and I have other vintage landscape printables on there and I'll put a link in the description. On my other bookcase in my dining area, I added some pumpkins to my bowl and this bowl stays out year round on this shelf. So I simply just started adding all my pumpkins inside. I lifted them up with some plastic bags from the grocery store. And then I just put pumpkins on top of that and you can't even tell that there's plastic bags inside. Now I had one ribbon left when I was finished with my whole living area and I put her on my silhouette. In the entryway, I changed around the furniture. I moved the bench over to the hall area and then I moved the chest right here into the entryway. And then I simply added one little fall vase with some flowers in it. I picked up some leaves when I was out on my walk and they've been drying out beautifully. And then I added this cute hearth and hand eucalyptus wreath onto my mirror and look at there. There's some more of those ribbons I was telling you about. I added those also. Last, I added a few new pillows onto my bench, a pumpkin pillow, which has autumn written all over it, and then this clay colored pillow in the back to give it a more warm fall vibe. And then last, I picked up from the attic this leaf garland that I made last year, and I'll put a link to how to make that in the description below. But just some simple touches is all it needed to warm up this bench in the hall. Okay, are you ready to see it all put together? Let's take a look. Thank you for joining me on this journey and I hope you got some inspiration and ideas to add touches of fall decor to your home. Again, I wanna remind you to please subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out and give us a thumbs up if you found this video helpful. 
I hope you all are having a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.